Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Ms. Whitehead Tembani and today we're going to learn ways to be a problem solver in communicating our ideas about solving part part whole word problems. Before we get started, let's get our math brains warmed up by looking at these pictures. What is the same in both pictures? It is the same because they both have eight emojis. It is the same because they both have two of each kind of emoji. Can you think of anything else that is the same? What is different in both pictures? It is different because the first picture has big emojis and the second picture has small emojis. It is different because the first picture has five rows and the second picture has three rows. Can you think of anything else that is different? Our learning outcome for today is to model and solve story problems. You can work on your communicator skills by listening so you can understand. Think about how communicators write or model to share ideas when I have you work on the math problem later. Before we get started, I want you to get some paper, crayons, and 10 of one kind of counter, and 10 of another kind of counter, and then come back to me. I'll count backwards from 20 while you get your materials. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, come back to me. Just put your materials next to you while you listen to me read the problem. What do you notice about this picture? Maybe you notice the food stand. Maybe you notice the roof with blue and white stripes. Maybe you notice the fruit. Picture in your mind what is happening while I read the story problem to you. Anna worked at a vegetable stand. What do we know so far? Anna worked at a vegetable stand. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Anna worked at a vegetable stand. She had some vegetables for sale. What new information did we find out? She had some vegetables for sale. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Anna worked at a vegetable stand. She had some vegetables for sale. Anna had some carrots and some peppers. What new information did we find out? Anna had some carrots and some peppers. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Anna worked at a vegetable stand. She had seven vegetables for sale. Anna had some carrots and some peppers. What new information did we find out? She had seven vegetables for sale. Continue to picture the story in your mind. 
Anna worked at a vegetable stand. She had seven vegetables for sale. Anna had four carrots and some peppers. What new information did we find out? She had four carrots. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Anna worked at a vegetable stand. She had seven vegetables for sale. Anna had four carrots and some peppers. How many peppers did Anna have for sale? What new information did we find out? We have a question. We get to figure out how many peppers did Anna have for sale. Let's read the story problem again. Anna worked at a vegetable stand. She had seven vegetables for sale. Anna had four carrots and some peppers. How many peppers did Anna have for sale? I want you to work out this problem. You may use your paper, crayons, pictures, numbers, words, or even your counters to show your thinking. I'll give you time to work on this problem now. Show me what you did. Everyone had some great answers. Let's take a look at some of the ways you solved the problem. Maybe you made set a seven box mat because there were seven vegetables total. Then you added four carrots or counters to show for the four carrots on a head. You counted how many empty boxes there were. One, two, three, which means there were three peppers on a head for sale. Four parts and three parts make seven, which is the whole. Four and three make seven. Maybe you used a number track from one to seven because you knew there were seven vegetables all together. Then you colored four numbers for the four carrots. That left you with three peppers. Four parts and three parts make seven, which is the whole. Maybe you drew seven counters, crossed four off for the four carrots, and counted three left for the three peppers. Four parts and three parts make seven, which is the whole. There are many ways to solve this problem. Let's reflect on our learning. Take a moment to think about yourself as a mathematician and communicator. Did you learn something new about modeling and solving story problems? Were you able to listen so you could understand? Did you write or make models to share your ideas? Mathematicians can communicate their ideas in many ways. In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned ways to be a problem solver and communicating our ideas. Try to make and solve story problems where you have two parts and a whole with your family today. Make sure to communicate how you solve the problems. I'm Miss Whitehead Tambani. I hope you have a great day and keep on counting.